Hey guys, today I want to show you how to make a powerful natural pesticide that costs very little money to make and is perfectly safe for human consumption. So let's get into it. There are two main components of this pesticide. There's the deterrent solution that repels the pests and there's the wetting agent which helps the deterrent stick to the plant's foliage and the fruit as is needed. So let's cover the deterrent first. There are two plants that pests hate that almost everyone has access to, garlic and spicy peppers. Garlic contains essential oils that are toxic to slugs and sap suckers like aphids and caterpillars. Spicy peppers have high amounts of capsaicin that irritates other insects and even small mammals like rabbits. I'm kind of willing to bet that it's not really too much of a stretch for you to believe, right? Like eating raw garlic and spicy peppers burns your mouth gets in your lungs, makes sense why animals and insects would be bothered by it. So here's how to make a garlic pepper spray that you can use to defend your plants. I made an extract of these two plants by crushing, chopping, and submersing them in water for a few days. Then I just gave it a light blend in my blender and then I strained out the liquid. And here's the resulting solution. This stuff is very strong. Now I could just spray this directly on my plants but it's not going to last very long because it has no way of really sticking to the plant leaf and that's why we need something that will glue the garlic pepper spray to the plant this is where the second part of the pesticide comes in the second component of our natural pesticide is called a wetting agent this is basically a very specific type of soap or a surfactant and it's specifically designed to reduce the surface tension of water allowing it to spread more easily over surfaces. Here's a side-by-side -side example of water sprayed on a window and the wetting agent sprayed on a window. You can see how the water immediately beads and drips off. Now take a look at the wetting agent. Once it's sprayed on the window, it foams up and it isn't going anywhere. This is what we're going to mix with our garlic pepper spray to get it to stick to our plants. Now you can just use a natural soap that you buy from the store However, this specific wetting agent I learned to make from Young Sung Cho, the creator of Jadam Natural Farming. And he found out a way to make this specific wetting agent that works really, really well at adhering to plant leaves and stems. It's perfectly safe, it biodegrades, relatively easy to make, so I'm gonna show you how. I'll warn you up front that this process, while simple, does require you to take some special care to be safe. You may need to invest in a few tools and you'll probably need to make a few purchases for the ingredients unless you happen to have potassium hydroxide just lying around the house. I will leave links to everything in the video description along with a recipe cheat sheet with a few different size batches so that you can make however much you need. We'll leave links to everything in the video description. Step one is to measure out your ingredients. Measure your 90% pure potassium hydroxide on a scale. Here I'm using exactly 320 grams. And I'll say this multiple times, but you need to be very precise with exact measurements that you use to make the wetting agent because we're doing chemistry here and there's not much wiggle room. So next you'll get your water ready. Here I'm using exactly 250 milliliters of distilled water. And the third and final ingredient is canola oil. Now I'm not really a huge fan of canola oil for cooking or eating, but it is exactly what this recipe calls for. So I've got some non-GMO organic canola oil and I'll be using exactly 1.8 liters. Once you've got your ingredients measured out, it's time to mix them. Now, here we'll be using a five gallon bucket. You can use a stainless steel pot if you'd prefer. The main thing is that whatever you're using needs to be durable because the mixture is going to get quite hot. For this part of the process, I've opted for maximum safety. I'm wearing goggles, a face mask, gloves, and even though it's a bazillion degrees out, I have no skin showing. You just wanna protect your body as much as possible so that you don't get burned. First, we'll put our 250 milliliters of distilled water in the bucket. Now it's very important that we use a soft water, which is why we're not using tap water or even filtered water. It has to have the minerals removed in order for the wetting agent to work. Hard water will not create a viable wetting agent. Then we'll add 320 grams of potassium hydroxide to that. You want to be sure that you add the potassium hydroxide to the water, not the water to the potassium hydroxide. The common image given for these sort of things is to picture what happens when you throw water on powdery snow versus when powdery snow falls on water. If you poured water on the potassium hydroxide, you'd risk it kind of poofing up 
and it could get on your body which could harm you in multiple ways. It could burn you badly. The fumes could burn your lungs. Just make sure to be really safe and add the potassium hydroxide to the water. The second you do this, you will want to lightly cover the bucket or the container and swirl it around gently, making sure to not breathe in any of the fumes directly. They are toxic fumes. Once the bubbling has calmed down and the liquid has become clear, we're gonna add in our canola oil. Now the mixture is crazy hot right now. It's right around 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna wanna add the canola oil very carefully, making sure not to splash any of the mixture around. And at this point, we are ready to emulsify. Now to emulsify, we have a few options. We can use a, an immersion kitchen blender or we could use a paint mixer drill attachment. We opted for the paint mixer because as you can see, we're able to insert the mixer into the mixture and be protected from potential splatterage. All I did was drill a one inch hole in the bucket lid and then I poked the mixer through. Now we're gonna mix until the canola oil and the potassium hydroxide solution are fully emulsified. This can take anywhere from five to 10 minutes, depending on the speed of your mixer. The final result should look like a thin mayonnaise-like substance. Once we've achieved this, we're ready to set the mixture aside for two to three days. During this part of the process, the wetting agent will heat up cool down and harden into a hard buttery like substance. This is like Vaseline to me. Once this has happened, we're ready to move on to the next step, which is to melt and dilute the wetting agent. So start by adding some more water for our exact amount. We're adding two liters and then we're just going to start to mix it really gently so that the clumps start to incorporate into the water. We just want to make sure that we're not kind of frothing it up. We don't want to let it bubble very much because that's foam that we're actually going to lose and basically this surfactant is gonna lose its power to adhere to the plant. Just mix it really gently. Next, we'll add our remaining water, another six liters. And now we're just gonna use a clean wooden stick to kind of stir it up. It's gonna lump up in the water and eventually as we stir, it'll incorporate in itself into the water. Now we're gonna leave this for another day or two, however long it takes until the clumps have fully dissolved. In warm weather, it'll take less time in cooler temps. It'll take a little bit longer. Ours took two days. Now at this point, it's ready. You can see that the color is a nice golden yellow and we're gonna store this in glass jars indoors until we use it all up. This wetting agent is diluted anywhere from between one to 30 and one to 100 in soft water. If pest pressure is really high, you'll wanna use a higher concentration of the wetting agent. If you're using this more as a preventative or maintenance level spray, you can dilute it one to 100 in water. So now that we've got our wetting agent, we're ready to combine all the ingredients together to make our pesticide. We've got our garlic pepper spray, we've got our wetting agent, and we've got our soft water. We're going to use a ratio of 1 to 50 for the wetting agent and 1 to 25 for the garlic pepper spray. So we'll fill this bottle with 25 ounces of soft water, then we'll add half an ounce of wetting agent, and then we'll add one ounce of garlic pepper spray. I'll shake up the bottle, give it a little swirl to combine, and this is ready to use on our plants. Guys, I hope that this video helps you in your journey with pests. Obviously, best case scenario, your garden isn't getting attacked in the first place, uh, but it happens, especially if you started growing a lot of new stuff in a new place like we did this year. You can grab our wedding agent recipe PDF. It's got ratios of how to make everything. If you're gonna buy the ingredients to make this stuff, use the links in the description. If you don't mind, it'll give us a small percentage on the sale and no extra charge to you. And go ahead and leave a comment with any questions that you have for any of this stuff. Tell us what video you'd like to see next when it comes to dealing with pests. We'll be diving deeper into this in the coming year, so make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with our tutorials. Thanks for watching.